हेलो ट्वेल्थ क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द बायोडायवर्सिटी एंड इट्स कंजर्वेशन इन बायोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू सी द मीनिंग ऑफ द बायोडायवर्सिटी दैट मीन द वर्ड बायोडायवर्सिटी इज एक्चुअली द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स बायो एंड डायवर्सिटी बायो दैट मीन्स द लिविंग थिंग्स एंड डायवर्सिटी दैट मीन्स द वेराइटी सो द डिफरेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ द लिविंग बींग्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द अर्थ और इन द ओशन इज नोन एज द बायोडायवर्सिटी एंड द सेकेंड वर्ड इन द हेडिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर इज कंजर्वेशन कंजर्वेशन दैट मीन्स स्टूडेंट्स टू प्रोटेक्ट दैम and to protect them in such a way that they remains for long period of time so that they can be utilized or they can benefit the upcoming generation of the human being so students we will study the biodiversity and conservation in technical manner or in detail manner let's start here students under the environmental study we will study the biodiversity and its conservation but before starting the chapter let's see some pictures which will make you more clear that about what we are going to study in this chapter here students see you can see uh, found the different living beings or different plants in the forest or different types of the plants present around us sometimes we use as the plants for the ornamental purposes sometime for industrial purposes also let's see so here you can see that the different plants have different properties some have different types of the leaves sometimes the plants are found in very dense form and sometimes they are very far away from each other and here the different types of the plants are also present <coughs> so students the meaning of biodiversity here the term biodiversity biodiversity this word is actually made up of two words bio and diversity is equal to biodiversity bio means living organisms and diversity that means the variety we have seen about this so the variety or the variability of organisms and ecosystem is referred to as biodiversity not only the diversity in the living organisms but in the ecosystem also we will see the diversity in ecosystem also so students depending upon the nature there are different types of the biodiversities are there now the biodiversities may be within a species among the species and on the basis of the physical separations we can also divide the biodiversities on the basis of the ecosystem so let's understand the types of biodiversity <coughs> here is the types of biodiversity one is genetic biodiversity second is species biodiversity and third is ecosystem diversity let's understand them one by one that what is the difference among these three biodiversities first one is genetic biodiversity in genetic biodiversity students it is related to the gene and genes found inside the living organisms so the difference within among the living organisms of the same type we cannot create difference in them on the basis of their species but they are difference within the species for example we see different 
variety of dogs around us so the main variety is dog main species is dog but there are different types of the dogs within the species are found so the difference is just because of the difference in their gene different types of the plants of the same species are found on the earth for example we see the type uh, example of mango different types several types of the varieties of mango are found in the market but the main thing is that they belong to the same species but within species variations are found the type of the variation is called the genetic diversity or genetic variation second thing is student students species diversity species diversity that means different types of the species of the plant if you take the example of the plant then lack type of the plants are there there may be several plants on the earth if we talk about the species of the animals then group of the animals contain several species that type of the variations which is on the basis of the appearance of the living organisms that is called the species diversity and third thing ecosystem diversity ecosystem diversity that means the difference in the living organisms on the basis of the habitat where they lives for example the living organisms of the aquatic ecosystem they will be entirely different from the terrestrial ecosystem desert ecosystems animal and plants will be entirely different from the animal and plants found in a forest ecosystem so this type of the diversity which is on the basis of the large area or we can say large geographical area the type of ecosystem uh, diversity is known as ecosystem diversity now let's make them more clear with the help of some more examples <coughs> types of diversity here we can understand with the help of the pictures ecosystem diversity here you can see that the terrestrial ecosystem two types of the ecosystem one is mountain ecosystem you can see high mountains here in the diagram second is forest ecosystem contains the trees and third is the aquatic ecosystem in the form of the river so all the living organisms either the plants or animal present in this ecosystem they will be entirely different from each other so this is our ecological diversity or diversity among the ecosystems second is students species diversity species diversity that means different species of the living organisms here you can see butterfly birds other animals this is the species diversity the different types of the species are found on the earth third one is the genetic diversity here is example of the frog there are different types of the frogs found on the earth the difference is due to the difference or change in their gene or dna so the diversity just because of the genetic character are changed that type of diversity is known as genetic diversity let's see some more example genetic diversity variation among the gene of the same species remember the short and sweet very simple definition variations among the gene of the same species and here is the example that we can see here the within the human being within the species of the human different or variations are occur these variations are called genetic variations again we can see in the species of the same that is goat different or variations are can be seen second is genetic variation 
a genetic diversity of rice in India. Here is the very good example in order to explain the genetic diversity. In ancient time students, more than 4 lakh type of the varieties of the rice were present in India. More than 4 lakh types. And even nowadays, more than 2 lakh of rice, 2 lakh type of variety of rice are present on the uh, present in India. So, this is the best example of the variations or diversity within a species because these 2 lakh type or 2 lakh variety of rice are just because of change in the structure of their gene. So, it is very vast, we simply call them rice, but they have variation among them. Next, species diversity. Here is also the best example of the species diversity. We can see it is a very few species are there. In fact, it is not 0.011 part of this, the variations. Millions or billions type of the species are found on the earth of the plants as well as of the animals. So, diversity which arises due to variation, variation among species present in a specific area is called species diversities horses and donkeys. See, these are the two different species horses and donkeys. There are several examples are there, lion and tigers are there. These are also two distinct species are there. They look somehow like similar, but though they are have very much vari variations from each other. Next is students. Ecosystem diversity. See, in ecosystem diversity, you can see the diagram here that forest ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem or pond ecosystem and grassland ecosystem. So, the different living organisms, either plants or animals which are present in different ecosystems, they form the ecosystem diversities or in the definition. Eco -diverse, ecosystem diversity is the diversity of habitats which includes different life forms within. Actually, these ecosystems are nothing but their habitat. If we talk about the water ecosystem or aquatic ecosystem, then the plants or animals that are present in that ecosystem will be aquatic. That means, water is their habitat. So, they have different habitats. If someone living in grassland ecosystem, then grassland is their habitat. <coughs> now, what is the value of biodiversity? We are continuously talking about that this is the biodiversity, that is the biodiversity. But why? why we need biodiversity, why it is very important in order to balance the nature as well as for the survival of the living organisms. Let us understand them with some key points that the very first need of the biodiversity is survival of the living organisms. Survival of the living organisms, biodiversity provides the actually the things which are essential for the survival of the living organisms or we can say that they are the life supporting substances. Sometimes one plant is food for the animal, some animals are food for the other animals. So, in this way they fulfill the food requirements of the all living organisms. Second thing health and healing. Next is ecological services and economic values. We have seen about the ecological services in the chapter ecosystem that all the ecological services that are provided by the ecosystem 
are somehow fulfilled by the diversified ecosystem or diversified living organisms that are present in that ecosystem. Next is productive value and food security. The extent of the biodiversity decide the productivity or the food security of that particular ecosystem. The more the diversity, more the biodiversity, more will be its stability. Here the ethical and aesthetic pleasure. Somehow the biodiversity provides the balance to the nature and balancing nature always satisfied the living organisms that are easy to survive for them. Next is students, biodiversity and food web. We have learned about the food chain and food web. So now let's see how the biodiversity is related to food web. Food web about the food web we have seen that it starts with the producers and ends with the top consumers here. It starts from the producers that are green plants and, and it ends with the top consumer here. But on moving from the producer to the top consumer, there are several consumers in between them. Either they are consumer or the producer, but as much as they are number, there will be diversity in the food chain. For example, here we can see that grasshopper, grasshopper eaten by shrew, shrew eaten by the hawk and here this uh, producer cricket cricket or grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by the frog as well as the shrew and both can be eaten by the snake and snake can be eaten by hawk if there are other organisms also or other animals also which can be a part of this food web then there will be diversity in the food web will which will make the food web more stable. In this way students, the biodiversity is very essential for the stability of the food web. What would happen if a disease killed off many of the hawk? Here we can see students, if the hawk is killed by a disease or uh, as much as uh, suppose all the hawk are exing exincted or died due course of some diseases then what will happen the snake become the top consumers in that case now if the snake is the top consumer then there will be no one to eat the snake it will result increase in the population of the snake the number of snakes will increase up to the large extent. Let us see how. Here we can see that number of the snakes or population of the snake is very high. Now the snake will eat the frog. So consecutively the population of the snake uh, frog will decreases. If the number of frogs decreases then the crickets or the insects number of the insects will increase because there were no frog in order to eat the insects let's see all the frogs get eaten in this diagram all the frogs are eaten and now there is no one to eat the insects so slowly students we see that if there are no frogs then 
the number of insects will increases gradually and if the number of insects increase then the food which is grass here for the insects they will eat up the, all the grasses so just because their number increases there will be decrease in the amount of the grass or we can say producer so most of the cattle get eaten by the crickets jo producers all the producers were eaten by the insects and now the insects will not get the sufficient amount of food for their survivor and consecutively the number of insects will also suddenly fall down in the ecosystem so here we see students that now the crickets don't have enough food so their number goes on downfall so what was there in the beginning only the number of the hawk were decreased but somehow they have indirectly effect on the producers just because of the decrease in the number of the hawk the number of the producers also decreased so here we see students that and so on number of each species have an effect on the number of the other species in the web in this food web students all the living organisms are directly depends on each other so if there is disturbance in the number of any of the living organisms at any level then they will affect the number of the living organisms at other level also so each and every living organisms have their own important in the food web they all needed in order to balance the nature see advantages of biodiversity to developing countries what are the advantages of biodiversity why should we manage the biodiversity see the recognition of sovereign rights of nations over their genetic resources may become a boon for gene rich a technologically poor developing country such as india if you talk about such as uh, the country india then in our country students technologies is not much more developed but just because of the rich in the biodiversity our country's economy get balanced and the natural system also gets balanced just because of the huge biodiversity the world trade organization wto is forcing these countries to extend the scope of their intellectual property rights law so that they can obtain the maximum benefit from this opportunity this biodiversity somehow helps the countries to become developed countries india is tend to gain a lot such as tropical botanical garden here we can see these terms will help us in the next topic tropical botanical garden and research institute thiruvananthapuram successfully develop an antifertic drug from local herbs under the trade name jivani found in kerala by kanni tribe here a name jivani which is the antifertic drug let's see hot spots of biodiversity now the places where the biodiversity is found in the large extent hot spots are richest and most threatened reservoirs of the plant and animal life on the earth the places where the large amount of the biodiversity is present but somehow it is threatened it is at dangered level there is danger about it that places are known as hot spots of the biodiversity hot spots are classified on the basis of three criteria there are criteria on the basis of which we 
divide the hot spots first the number of species present how many species are there second thing the number of those species that exist exclusively in given ecosystem that that, that species are not present anywhere on the earth but just on that particular place and the degree of threat they face what are the main dangers for them these are the three criteria which are used for deciding or divide the hot spots now see which are the main hot spots of india the main hot spots of india are western ghat and north east himalaya these are the two places where the large number of the biodiversities are found 